This work, entitled Stochastic Modeling and Analysis of the Energy Consumption of Wireless Sensor Networks, was submitted for evaluation to the IEEE Latin America Transactions Journal with ID 7419. Managing wireless sensor networks' energy consumption is a complex task that demands adequate modeling and analysis. Presenting lifespan intervals based on stochastic analysis is a standard practice in engineering but little explored in WSN field. Therefore, this work presents a method to model and evaluate the probability range of the energy spent by WSN nodes. The methodology applied in this project includes a preliminary study of energy consumption by IoT devices, the proposal of a mathematical model for consumption, collecting data from the lower AWN SIM simulator, and lastly, the verification of model performance. A WSN is an infrastructure formed by equipment for measuring, controlling, and communicating with a central station. The user can react to events related to the monitored phenomenon based on the information received. Energy saving is still a challenge for the use of WSNs to be popularized. Usually, batteries and energy collectors provide energy to the devices. Batteries need to be recharged or replaced, and energy collectors, despite increasing battery life, still have several challenges to overcome. The objective of this work is to offer subsidies for better analyzing networks formed by this type of equipment to make it possible to assess the probability intervals of drained energy. The findings should make an essential contribution to the field of WSNs, more specifically, to the field of the engineering and design of this type of network. In this regard, the authors could not find any other studies using the approach proposed in this work. End devices are physical devices or virtual entities capable of cooperating and interacting within an IoT infrastructure. By observing the end device energy models proposed in the literature, the specifications, and the operation of WSN, it was possible to identify the main states of operation which are the low power mode, the processing and IO mode, the reception mode, the transmission mode, and finally, the idle mode. It has been found in several works that, in general, the energy consumed during an operation cycle can be described according to this equation in which the total operating cycle energy is given by the sum of the energy consumed in each state. For lower AWAN end devices, for example, the energy consumed during an operation cycle is given by the energy spent in the uplink transmission, the delay 1 receive window, the downlink reception in RX1 window, the delay 2 receive window, the downlink reception in RX2 window and the sleep mode until the next uplink transmission. An approach to model energy consumption is proposed in this work based on the fact that the energy consumed by any sensor node of the network can be modeled as a random variable. In lower AWAN networks, for example, the transmission power and the spreading factor change due to ADR algorithm actuation as well as the duration of the reception windows because of packet loss. The probability distribution of the energy consumed was derived, as well as the probability distribution for the maximum and the minimum consumption. This figure presents the energy consumption PDF curve and the minimum and maximum energy consumption PDF curves. These PDFs were used to analyze the power consumption with the Lower AWAN simulator. Lower AWAN Sim is a free and open source simulator developed in MATLAB to evaluate the behavior of Lower AWAN networks. It considers the medium access and physical layer aspects of networks. It is useful to analyze Lower AWAN radio performance. The main inputs of the simulator are the arrangement of nodes, the propagation model, and a set of parameters that determine the behavior of the protocol stack layers. As outputs, the simulator returns the uplink delivery rate and the energy consumption metrics. Eight simulation scenarios were established with different quantities of end devices. The modes have been placed according to a grid layout with from 4 to 256 nodes. It was possible to notice that the energy consumption PDF fits the energy consumption data. An accurate analysis is the one with the total consumption per cycle and comparing the simulated results with the theoretical model. The total consumption per cycle average and the expected maximum and minimum energy consumption values decrease as the grid density increases. This finding was discussed by the author of Lower AWN Sim, and it is explained by the growth in uplink collisions, which results in fewer packets being accurately received by the gateway and, as a result, fewer packets delivered to the end device. 
The theoretical models fit the simulated data and the expected energy consumption values are similar to the averages of the simulated data. With this work, it was possible to obtain more generic expressions than those presented in the discussed literature, considering that the total energy consumed per cycle is a random variable. The theoretical PDF curves were produced, and the distributions of the maximum and minimum consumption were derived, allowing the network designer to evaluate the power consumption distribution of the entire network. The PDF gives a picture of WSN power consumption as the max and min expected values allows the analysis of the energy dispersion and outliers removal. Future work includes the application of the methodology to other similar technology and new scenarios in which multiple states could function cyclically. We also expect to apply this model to analyze the performance of a WSN experimental setup.